Hello, I'm Wendy Warner, lead interior designer at Muse Residential. We're excited that you've chosen Muse to help you with your home remodeling project. And today I'd like to help you look into our online project management system. This helps us manage your project without the chaos that's normally associated with remodeling. As we move through the video, you'll be able to see how it ensures that we are all on the same page with regard to selections. It also keeps all your documents and your communication in one place, and it allows one place for you to view all as aspects of your job from the estimate to the schedule to your online payments. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is log into your portal. And if you've met with Muse already and gone through your design presentation, you will have been given a personal username and password. To get to your portal, you go to the Muse Residential website. It is just like it sounds, museresidential.com. And you're going to want to go to log in at the top right hand side of your screen. Once you click there, you're going to be able to log in using that username and password that you were given at your presentation. I'm going to log in here to an existing job so that the portal is already established and you can kind of see what it looks like in reality once a job is underway. Here, once you're in the portal, you'll see the summary page. And on this summary page, you'll see pictures of notes that we took when we were there for your appointment, as well as photos of maybe what your existing uh, space looks like, whether it be a bathroom or a kitchen. You'll also notice over here your contract price, as well as any payments that have been received. And this is just a quick place to view it. But you can also click this link for a further detailed view of a statement that details out each payment and what it was applied to. Once you're further into your project, you'll be able to see a quick view of the week's schedule here, and we'll talk about that a little further later. But this is a summary page where you can just kind of get a quick view. Also, before I go much further than this, I want to mention that there is an app for this that is useful for both smartphones and tablets. It's called Builder Trend, and if you want to download it, the icon looks like this. It's helpful because if you're out and about, you will get notifications on your phone or your tablet, and it will keep you from having to log in on your computer to see these messages. In addition to that, you will get notifications by way of your regular email. So rest assured, if we need to get in touch with you, the portal will contact you. But the app just makes it a lot easier, as we're all used to. Again, once you're logged into your portal, and you're on the summary page, you're also going to notice a gray bar across the top. This is where you can see all the parts and pieces of your job and enter into the different parts that you need to view. Today, if you've finished up your design presentation, the first thing you're going to want to do is look at your selections. Now, what's interesting about selections, and one of the most important things I want you to remember about this video, if you remember nothing else, is to remember the yellow stripe. The yellow stripe is your friend because after we go through your presentation, we favorite every one of the selections that we've made together. And when you click on this yellow stripe, you're going to see your favorites. If you were to accidentally try to open individually any of these down here, you would get into a whirlwind of our Muse catalog. And as you can see here, there are 183 accent tiles there. And that could get very confusing for you trying to figure out which one of those is the one you selected. So ignore all of this. This is just our catalog. Your selections are here in the yellow stripe. Once you've clicked on selections and you see the yellow stripe, just click it again. And what is going to happen is your list of favorites is going to populate into a running list here. And you can see that you can scroll down and see exactly what these are. This is the floor tile. You can see the name. You can see how much it was costing you within the estimate. You can see your countertops, your grout colors, your bath hardware, down to the profile that we're planning to use on your countertops. And as you scroll through, if you need more information, you can click over here on View Details, and it will pull up a larger photograph, if you need to see it larger, and more details on exactly what it is that you're purchasing. 
If you're okay with all of these selections, you simply scroll down to the bottom, click here, and then click Approve All. And this is another reason the yellow stripe is very important. Rather than having to do this for each and every selection, you're able to approve all of your favorites at one time. And once you sign off with your initials and click Approve, all of your selections are now approved. Now what's important now is that you see there are no more favorites. And what's really important is everything with the green check. All of your favorites are now approved and selected. That lets us know that we're all on the same page and that we're ready to place orders for your products. The other important thing about this is that these selections talk to the estimate. So let's say you did run into an instance where you weren't sure about something. You would also use the portal to send us a message, which I'll teach you about in just a little while, and let me know, or your designer know, that maybe there is a discrepancy with a certain selection. Maybe we forgot to update the faucet change that you made, and we need to update that selection. So you'll need to let us know before you sign off on your estimate as part of this selection approval process. Nonetheless, once all your selections are approved, and you feel certain that we're all on the same page, these selections will talk to the estimate and update any pricing based on all the new selections we made. Then you'll be able to view those updates here on the estimate. And this is going to be a digital copy of exactly what you got when you were in the showroom with any changes that were made to the selections. They're all listed here in this document format, as well as our contract that talks about payment schedules and things like that. After you've finished approving all your selections, you view this estimate and you come down to the bottom and approve it just the same way that you just approved your selections by confirming that this is an electronic signature, clicking approve, and leaving your initials at the bottom or your signature. After you've approved your estimate, that is our cue to start ordering your products, but we need to get your deposit first. So you're going to see a tab up here called Invoices. And on this tab, you're going to be able to see an invoice for an initial deposit. Now, on this initial deposit, you don't have to go to this tab to look for it. We will send you a notification, but if you need to view the details of it, this is where you would find it, under Invoices. And that starts a whole other part of our online portal system that's going to be very important to you once we have started your job. And so I'm going to log into a different project now that is actually underway. The one we've been viewing is just simply a project that we are still in the quoting phase for. So I'm going to log into a different job now so you can start to see the other parts and pieces of our portal that will be interesting to you as we work through your project. Again, here is the same summary page photos of things the homeowner liked, pictures of their house before, pictures of their house during, contract prices, payments that have been made, just a regular summary of everything going on on your job. But remember, I talked to you about invoices. So just to follow up with that, you can see here where an initial deposit was taken. And you can also see here where she, this particular person, has added some things to her project, tray ceiling details and things like that. And she is able to go here to her portal and pay these online simply by clicking this button. What's great about paying online is that you have to set it up one time with your bank. It's basically paying by bank check. And you have to verify a couple of micro deposits one time. And then from there on, the bank account is set up within our portal. And it's a simple click of a button and you can pay your bills without ever having to leave your computer. Um, so it's a really great system. And it's all secure as well. So once you've paid your initial, initial deposit, we are going to order all your products and get them into our warehouse. And while we're waiting for your orders to arrive, we are going to build a calendar for your job. And as you can see, if you would like to view the calendar on your job, you're going to click Schedule here. And you're going to be able to see an entire schedule for what is supposed to be happening on your job. As you see here, this particular job, we're building a giant garage master bedroom addition on the back. So there's quite a bit of framing here that's going to take quite a while. And you can see here that that is what is happening over the next few weeks in this job. And as we scroll through, 
You can see how the calendar changes and what items are supposed to be happening on what day until you get all the way through to the end, and this particular job was large. Um, they don't normally take this long for small kitchens or baths, but you can see how the job finalizes in June with um, final building inspections and touch-up paints and punching out. Um, so this way you can stay in touch with what is supposed to be happening on your job. And what I always remind people about this is that this, this is more of a framework for your job than a day-to-day -day schedule. For instance, we may have plumbing trim listed here on this big job. It's listed for over a week. That doesn't necessarily mean that the plumber is going to be on your doorstep at 8 a.m. every single morning. It just means that this is his window of time to get his work completed in order to meet our deadlines. So we will be in and out of your property during these times with the appropriate subs, to make sure that we're meeting the deadlines that you see here on your schedule. The next thing that's going to be interesting to you as we go through the job is daily log. <clears throat> Again, these are great because these are a record of what is happening on a job site from day to day. And what's even better is you might get these while you're at work or if you're on vacation and you're not there to watch the progress, you may be able to actually view these. You'll get the notification on your phone if you carry the app and you'll be able to click on it and see photos of exactly what was happening that day on the job site. And then what's even better about that is when the job is said and done, you have this record of everything that started from the day we broke ground on a job all the way till the end. And there are ways to share these photos as well. If you'd like to send some information to your friends, you can go here to photos and you can see all the different photos that are listed for a job. And if you see something you'd like to share with your friends, you simply click on it and you can tweet it or Facebook it or pin it. <clears throat> so it's a really great way to keep a record of everything that's been going on on your job. Now, back to the gray menu at the top. We've talked about the schedule. We've talked about daily logs. We've talked briefly about photos. Now let's talk about messages. Messages are very important to us because they do keep us all on the same page. What's important, if you need to send us a message, if you need to speak to us about your job or you have a question about your job, you're going to come to the portal and compose a new message just like you would on an email. It's going to ask you who you want to send the message to and you'll find a list here of our staff, of which it will probably be myself, Julie, or Jeremy that you might want to send your message to. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you've chosen who to send your message to, you click your subject and send, put the body in of your message. And what's great about that is the message comes into this same portal and all the back and forth that goes between will be seen by the entire team. So if someone else is in a meeting, but there's something that needs to be handled or a question that needs to be answered quickly, someone on the team will get the message and handle it properly. Um, obviously, if it's a non-emergent situation, we may wait till the, the later in the day or the next morning to answer. Um, but this does keep all of the information and the communication in one place and allows us to respond much quicker to you. Um, another great trick about these messages is that they go straight to your email as well. So you're not going to have to come into the portal to check for messages. You're going to get them in your regular email. And you can also reply to them in your regular email and they will come here to the portal as well. So that makes it really easy way to communicate. Now change orders is another tab that I'd like to talk about, but only very briefly. We very rarely have a lot of change orders on our jobs because we're very, very careful in our quoting and planning process. However, there are times when a customer wants to add things that they didn't necessarily think about ahead of time, or there may, in those rare instances, be something that we uncover at your job that we weren't aware of and had no way to know. So, for instance, this customer, like I was telling you, wanted some really great ceiling details, and she was willing to add those on as a change order. And so this is where we would type up the amount that it's going to cost you and you'll get a notification. You'll be able to view the details of it and see exactly what we're talking about doing for that change order. And then you will also be able to pay for it right here, just like you do any of your other invoices. So again, very quick and easy. 
And then we've already talked about invoices and how you can go here to pay all your payments online. And it looks much like this change order tab, and we've kind of viewed it before already, so I won't spend too much time on it. But just want to reiterate that that kind of keeps everything clean, everything you need from your for your job, from schedule to daily communication with messages and daily logs to change orders and invoicing is done right here through your portal. And just to reiterate, you get there by going to our website, museresidential.com. We love our system. We think it helps us stay organized and get your project done on budget and on time. And we know that you're going to enjoy using it too. We've heard great reviews from our customers regarding this portal. If you have any other questions, you can definitely call us at any time. But most importantly, we're looking forward to starting your job and working with you. Um, we know that your project is going to turn out beautifully. Thanks so much. Look forward to working with you. Bye-bye.